funny. Shut the fuck up. Hello everyone. Today I am filming my favorite video ever, 10 Things Your Photographer Hates. So disclaimer before I start, this isn't me talking shit on anyone in specific. I'm just going to address like 10 of my biggest pet peeves as a photographer. This also applies to photography in any other industry, um, but here we go. The first one is, can I have a discount? This question doesn't always get asked like directly, but I'll get an email all the time and it's like, hey, I'm looking for this and that. And I'm like, okay, cool, here's my packaging. And instantly, well, first of all, they might not respond. Second of all, what they do is they kind of just say, hey, our budget is like, you know, $200 below what your package is. And this kind of a thing happens honestly, like all the time. So the reason this bothers me is because full-time photographers, we really don't have it easy. I know it looks fun that we get to shoot all the time. We're posting fun images. Um, it's not that fun. 30% of what you pay me as a photographer actually just goes straight to taxes, like big whoop, everyone pays their taxes. But on top of that, um, we don't actually get benefits. So I'm not getting any insurance, um, dental, anything like that. Um, so taxes plus business expenses equals broke photographer. Make sure if you do want to work with that photographer very badly to let them know that you value their work and then to continue to, if they're willing to, um, create kind of a package together that's actually, you know, tailored and it's not necessarily you just begging for that discount. So that's my first one is just, can I have a discount? Can I have a discount? No, you can't have a discount. Um, this is my job. Your camera takes such good photos. So there's often like these weird backhanded compliments. I don't think they're intended negatively, but when someone's like, oh my God, what camera do you use? And things like that. It's, it's a nice like compliment, of course, like they're saying you, you take good photos, but it's really funny when people are like, your camera takes great photos. I've heard this one many times. It's a little awkward to hear that because I've been shooting for since, uh, let's see, 20, oh, so long ago. I've been shooting for years and years and years. And it's not the camera that's taking the photos, it's moi. And other photographers, uh, I've heard that they get frustrated when people don't realize like this is the photographer creating the work, it's not the gear. Granted, gear is very nice, gear can help a lot. That's gonna cycle into business expenses, which we talked about previously. But yeah, your, your camera takes good photos, that's number two. Phones at weddings. Oh my God, if you have your iPhone out, if you have your iPad, oh my God, the iPad, and I'm in the aisle and the ceremony has just ended, the bride and groom have just kissed for the first time, their husband and wife now, and, they're, and together they're walking down the aisle for the first time in front of all of their guests. They've paid me somewhere around $4,000 and Auntie Cheryl is right there in the middle of the aisle holding her big iPad out. It's disrespectful to A, the couple. It's disrespectful to the professional who's working there, the videographers, the photographer, the florist, everyone involved. Um, you're kind of just hurting the whole production value of what they are seeking to capture. So um, what I recommend couples to do is to have the announcer before the ceremony begins, politely announce, please turn off your phones. Um, the ceremony will be beginning soon and the couple has requested to have an unplugged ceremony. Can you make me skinnier? <laughs> no, I can't make you look skinnier. I can position you in certain ways to make you look flattering. I can edit your skin and I can, you know, brighten things up, but I'm not here to jump on Photoshop for a 400 image gallery and like, liquefy your body smaller. Photography for me, I'm here to capture your memories. I'm here to give you a product that you'll have for years and years to come. I just don't believe in that. That's like everyone, we, yeah, body positivity, everyone is beautiful. You need to just like own it and be yourself and don't feed into that bullshit. Throwing filters over your photographer's edit. Just don't. Um, don't do that. 
If there's like something wrong with the edits or like if there's a big zit that you missed, that your photographer missed, that's great. You should be like, hey, I wanna print this really big. Um, I noticed like I have this big blemish on my face. That's not natural. Um, it's not usually there. Could you please edit that out for me? I'll be like, oh, hell yeah, girl. Like I'll get that right back to you. Thank you so much for letting me know. There you go. But when people are like, hey, can I have more photos? Like, can I have all of the originals? I'm like, no. Um, those were the best images. I've been shooting for years. I'll see on Instagram, you know, the next week, my photo, but it's no longer my photo. There's, you know, some really, really whack, like, filter over it, and it's been facetuned. If you hired me for my style, I just don't get that. I don't know, photographers, if this has happened to you, I'm actually always so interested. Like, comment and let me know if this has happened to you and what you think about people putting filters over your edited images. <sighs> the next one goes right along with this and it's photo credit. So when your photographer has spent hours and hours editing your images, cropping, rotating, filtering, color correcting, and then editing your zits and smoothing your skin, and you post their beautiful piece and you've paid them all this money, but then there's no credit. Either a tagged credit on Instagram or a caption credit on Instagram or Facebook. It's infuriating because A, most photographers' contracts require credit. B, it's just like, look at this piece of art, but it's just me, it's all about me. And you post the image and it's like, you look so good in it and there's just no credit for your photographer. It's disappointing when I see this because I've worked super hard, I put my heart into the product and I just, it just feels like a little slap in the face or like, I know some people forget and that's totally okay. Um, so usually like if it happens once, I'm like, okay, whatever. And I'll like, let them know. Um, and then they're usually good about it. And it's those people who, like they don't know you like follow them or like they forget that you were friends on Facebook or you add them later and then you see all of these old photos they posted and lo and behold, it's your work. Like if you can just get their name out there, that's like literally supporting their lifestyle. My clients like give me photo credit and like put me in the caption. I have their friends reach out to me and they're like, oh my God, I love like X, Y, and Z's photos. Like, can you please let me know what your pricing is? I'd love to work with you. And boom, I have my next job. So, so by giving credit, you're actually giving me life. And I really appreciate all of you guys who do that. Um, next one is emails. Let's break this down real quick. As a photographer, as an independent artist, I'm sure you understand. You spend 30% or more of your time um, emailing. So you're corresponding with clients. You are reaching out to new potential clients. Uh, there's so many different things that you're doing and you're just back and forth with like maybe six to 20 people at a time depending on how busy it is if it's your wedding season or how many clients you have so Emails, I mean, that's just that's it right there photographers hate emailing. I hate emailing in the subcategory of emails is ghosting I am sure if you're a photographer if you're a creative if you're a graphic designer anything you have been ghosted think about getting Mm, four to 15 of these emails a month at least and those are just really disappointing because as an independently employed artist you're you're really hopeful and excited for any new potential work and it's totally okay when someone says hey you're out of my budget or like we found someone else that's more in our style all these types of things but what's definitely not okay is when I send my pricing and instantly they disappear please 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 for potential clients out there for artists if you're communicating and they give you a package or a list of pricing that you're like not into, you can't afford it, or you do find somebody else, just send them a simple note and say, hey, thanks so much for answering. Uh, we found somebody else and just wanted you to know. If you've been ghosted before, I also wanna know, like comment. Okay, number eight is people who don't do their research. People who haven't read your contract and they'll ask you questions that are in the contract or they don't understand when payments are due and you have to follow up unnecessarily like several times or if you like haven't researched like what you need directly at your shoot um, or like at your wedding, like which shots you really want. Um, like, oh, here's a big one. At a wedding, a lot of the times I have clients who want like that really pretty golden light. And if I'm not delivering that product of that golden light, 
I've had a couple clients get like really angry at me. Um, and then I'm like, well, your wedding ceremony was at noon and golden hour happens at like 8 p.m. right now. So I'm really sorry, I did the best I can and these photos are great. It's just, they're not golden hour, like glowy, warm goodness because it's not the right time. And that's just like something that goes into research. So if you want like a specific thing from your photographer or your artist, don't be scared to like reach out and say, hey, I saw this photo, like how did you get this? I want it to look like that. And then your photographer will work with you directly and help you. Um, a, other good questions are like, what should I wear for like family or senior photos? Um, like what, what kind of locations can we go to for our shoot? All of these things play a big part in the content that gets delivered to you in the end. Okay, number nine is, can you take my pictures for free? Um, I don't actually get asked that direct question, but people will DM you and say, hey, do you wanna collaborate? Which usually means the same thing. Um, you'll have friends who will be like, oh my God, like my friend Davis takes pictures. Maybe they can photograph this. And you know, they'll reach out. Hey, can you do this for me? It's so tough. If you really wanna support your loved ones who are artists and your friends who are artists, offer to pay them. But like, would you walk up to the dentist and be like, I have cavities, can you please fix these for free? Or like, do you wanna collaborate? It's not gonna happen. It's, it's not, just don't. <laughs> All right, the last thing that your photographer hates is not being taken seriously. I cannot explain to you how many times I grew up being asked, what do you do? What's your job? Um, oh, really? Is that all you do? Uh, are you done with college yet? And it's just hard to like constantly have this expectation over you that as an artist, you're not gonna make it or you're expected to you know, have a master's degree or be doing another job. Being respected for what you do and for being an artist is really important. It becomes challenging when you're constantly facing this wall of criticism and what artists really need is for people to support them. I do what I do, I love what I love, and if you don't see that, I'm sorry. So for all of you photographers out there and artists and creatives, I see you, I respect what you're doing, and I encourage you to stay true to that and keep pushing. It, it's gonna work. Um, the only reason it won't is if you give up. And that's all I have to say there. Um, sorry if any of this video took too much of a negative tone. I'm kind of like encapsulating all of these annoyances together. I'm gonna be creating another video in the future about kind of like an educational video and like ways to be supportive of artists. So instead of focusing on the negative, we'll be discussing positive ways to interact with um, your graphic designer, your photographer, your vendors, things like that. Artists, essentially. Um, before I go, I'm gonna read a few pet peeves from other photographers that answered my poll on Instagram, and I'll be right back, I have to pull that up. Melissa MJ says, when someone wants you to send the raw files along with the edits. Uh, Rosebud Photo says, late clients and models. We didn't talk about this one. I've had a couple clients like show up 30 minutes, even as bad as an hour late, and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. Um, can, I sh can we go longer? And I'm like, no, we, I have another client on their way. Uh, Tofik Ahmad, I'm sorry if I messed up your name, said, people who don't know much about photography telling you stuff on an outdoor shoot. This happens a lot. Uh, hobbyists are really cute, and I honestly encourage everyone to do photography, but please just like be careful about telling a, an artist like how to do their job. That's a no-no. The next one is from Zoe Calcote. Uh, people haggling the price after you've already given a discount and done the work. Okay, we discussed the haggle, but whoa, the haggle after, that's really bad. She also said, that's why I stopped photography. So, yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> You're ruining dreams. Um, Gardner Gnomes said, when people expect you to take pictures for free, like, bitch, I have bills to pay. Abigail Zim says, people cropping out my watermark slash not tagging me in the photos. Cropping out a watermark is savage. Savvy underscore Mackenzie said, clients complaining about price when they have no idea all that goes into being a photographer. I'm so weird. I literally took a picture of these on my camera because I'm using my phone to film. We know how to YouTube. Meg.Live said, when friends say, can I have a friend discount for the shoot? Or maybe you can photograph me for free? Like, bitch, friends and family and their con connections are my entire clientele. Continued. 
uh, oh, client basis. I won't do professional shoots for free just because we went to high school together. That was well said. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Support this little artist. And I'll see you guys all on the next video.